stars have come out for Remain. Nearly 300 of them, including Benedict Cumberbatch, director Danny Boyle and singer Paloma Faith. They've signed a letter saying Britain's creative industries would be badly damaged by Brexit. You may recognise the Beatles Zebra Crossing and the Prime Minister heading into Abbey Road Studios where he chatted with various arty types, that's actor Dominic West, and also the artist Anish Kapoor. Voting to stay in Europe is a vote for a kind of idealism and that somehow has been eclipsed by various um, isolationist arguments. Isolationism in the end has to lead to death. The Leave campaign has less of a star lineup. Michael Caine, Liz Hurley, and Roger Daltrey of The Who are among those who say they want out. He may not be a star exactly, but he knows how to make an entrance. Nigel Farage is off on his own bus around the country, and he doesn't think much of this morning's letter. They're rich lovies living in five million pound houses in Nottingham. Of course they want to stay in the EU. But their lives are great. But they're also, they're pe they're also people that people out there in the country like. The, well, they might like them as actors. I don't think they're necessarily going to follow their political views when it comes to voting. Um, and I'm sure we will see more and more celebs backing the outside as well. Like but, who? But who this, we, is, who but this is not about celebrities. Instead, Leave campaigners hope it will be about immigration, among other things, and today they gave that a spin, saying there'll be unsustainable pressure on the NHS if five new countries who've applied join the EU. That means between about 2.6 million and 5 million extra people coming to Britain on top of those who've arrived in the past 15 years. The idea of asking the NHS to look after a new group of patients equivalent in size to four Birminghams is clearly unsustainable. Remember, Michael Gove is in his government. We're even told they're still friends, but thanks to this referendum, where there was harmony, there is now discord. Andy, the Leave campaign playing the immigration card strongly again today. Do their numbers about things like four Birminghams and the like add up? Well, Matt, this document is based on some pretty big assumptions. First of all, an assumption that countries like Turkey will be joining the EU within four years. That looks pretty improbable. Second, that people coming from those countries or other EU countries are something like four or five times more likely to visit A&E than people born in the UK. Again, talk to people from the NHS and they say that is simply implausible. Those people tend to be younger, fitter, here for work. Make no mistake, there is a real argument to be had, real questions over the pressures on public services like the NHS, the questions that are put by increased Im immigration. But frankly, this document today looks rather like Vote Leave's version of Project Fear to me. Many thanks indeed, Andy.